All right, so in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to be successful in the commercial snow and ice removal or management business. To give you guys some context, I'm Chase Gallagher. I own a landscape design and build, and we also do snow removal for commercial clients only. Key, again, know your client base. So how do I want to start this video off is basically, I want to give you guys some context, right? So let me start this off by, I, I own and I've owned a landscaping business for about eight or nine years now. So me giving you commercial snow removal advice is key. You need to understand that I own a landscaping business and I suggest you own and match it, especially in my market, which is Pennsylvania. I'm located in the Philadelphia suburbs, right? So here's how you're going to be successful in the commercial snow business. Number one, already have a landscaping company. At least this is how I've been successful, whether it snows or not in the commercial snow business. I own a landscaping company, right? And so what does commercial snow removal business require? It requires a team and it requires lots of capital. You're buying expensive equipment, plows, salters, trucks, skid steers, pusher boxes, salt. All these things require money. And so how I've been successful in the commercial snow business is I've already had the landscaping business. So here's my example for you. I've already invested the $85,000 dollars into the 450 dump truck, the $60,000 into the 250. My my investments already there. So what did I do to earn more money for my business and be successful in the commercial snow business? I added to it. So usually at the end of each season around fall time, I'll throw in, I'll invest 15 to $25,000 into my snow business, whether that's that's it's mainly equipment I'm buying. So, number 1, you need to have landscaping equipment, then you need to be uh you need to have the cash to invest into the commercial snow business, the the equipment so again, how are you going to be successful? It's really just team, experience, team, and equipment. That's where it starts, right? So now you're ready to get into the commercial snow business. Number two, how can you land commercial snow contracts? Well, you want to talk with commercial property managers. You want to network with them. How can you do this? Online presence. That's how I've networked with mine. Whether it's LinkedIn, whether it's your website, whether they find you, that's how you want to do it. Number two is grow your network amongst your industry. That's what I've done. So I, I'm i always trying to take like, oh, let's grab a beer. Like, let's let's do this. Dude, that's how a lot of things get done in the contracting world, in the landscaping world, is you go out for a beer, you go do things, and you're just networking. This buddy connects you to this guy, to this guy, and, and then you make it happen, right? But you want to connect with commercial property managers or commercial property owners, or you want to connect with a commercial snow remo removal company, all right? So there's companies out there that'll basically sign on 100, 200, 300 properties for a large like nationwide commercial, you know, property owner, you know, business essentially. And so you're the end of the spectrum essentially. So there's the business owners, there's the real estate owners, right? Then there's their managers, their property managers. They're going to go out and hire a subcontracting company that labels themselves as snow removal companies. They they get the contract for all 300 locations then they go into each individual market and hire you the business owner to actually do the work right so my commercial portfolio is that's that's a chunk of it and then I have my other stuff so here's what I recommend you do is sign on take take you know take the right risk and sign on these bigger locations these bigger you know shopping malls corporate centers etc for your business and then what I've done is I balance it out with local businesses so we do like a school a local school we do some small lots some local stuff that doesn't have all these contracts and these different levels to it. And that's how I've been able to spread my portfolio. The next thing I'm going to recommend is you need to have at least one seasonal contract in your commercial snow portfolio. This is key. It's 2023. It did not snow, barely snowed this past season. All right. We had one contract that pays me 8,000 a month, whether it snows or not. So how do you make money, whether it snows or not? You have at least a seasonal contract. All right, guys, this is key, man. Set up at least one of them and you're, you're, you're ideally going to do it with the big snow brokers, right? Have one, one seasonal, have a couple, and then the rest I have, you know, per inch, per event type of thing. As I grow, 
row, I'm going to have a seasonal per so much per event contracts, if that makes sense. So right now I have six total snow sites, one of them seasonal. Next year, I want to have 12 or 15. I'm going to have two seasonals. That's how you can grow and manage your risk. When you get to a you know, certain level, you want to manage your risk. You want to make sure money's coming in because you got payroll, payments, all sorts of stuff. So in conclusion, man, that, that's how you're going to be successful in the snow, commercial snow and ice business, whether it snows or not. Number one, have the right equipment, have new equipment or equipment that you know is going to work. Number two, have a great network and a great team that you're going to work with to perform the services. Number three, manage your risk. All right. Make sure you have at least a seasonal contract in case it doesn't snow. You don't want to invest 25 grand like I did and then it not snow. Now, luckily it didn't hurt me because I had a seasonal contract and it is what it is. And then number four, make sure you're working with the right snow brokers. This is key. You're, and, and last thing, and number four or five, wherever I'm at is make sure your pay terms on your, on your local clients are shorter. Maybe make them 10, 15, 25 day pay terms because your bigger contracts are going to be those 45 to 60 to 90 days, which is going to, you know, strangle your business, which is already being strangled during the winter time. All right, guys, this is how you can be successful in the commercial snow and ice management business, whether it snows or not. Looking forward to hearing from you.